Let me show you just an early example of what this system can do. conceptual state, it's being called New Super Mario Brothers Me. That's right, your me plays right alongside Mario, and you can watch the action on either of the screens. Second, the new controller can now take the game world off the TV and spread it all around you, letting you peer into it from any angle. This one is called Shield Pose. And if you don't move the new controller back and forth, up and down, pirate arrows are going to come from you to, from all directions and find their mark. Third, a new form of multiplayer. Chase Me is set in a familiar looking Nintendo world. But that world looks very different depending whether you're holding a Wii Remote or the new controller. If you've got the new controller, you've got a bird's eye view of the four folks trying to catch you. And that definitely improves your odds. On the show floor, make sure to try both perspectives. Finally, we apply that same idea to create a different kind of shooter. Two galactic fighters on the ground are shooting up at a spaceship. And up there, the pilot is looking down, blasting away from his viewpoint. I'll warn you in advance, it's not easy, but man, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> now, to repeat, what I've just described are prototypes, not actual games. But I can announce one title that is in development for Wii U. Nintendo will publish the Lego City Stories in partnership with TT Games, a Warner Brothers entertainment company. This will be a new installment in the Lego series that sold over 60 million copies in North America and Europe. More than half of those have sold on Nintendo platforms. So it only seems fitting that LEGO City Stories, a new open world game packed with action, so like humor, and a whole city full of LEGO vehicles, is coming exclusively to both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. In fact, developers from around the world see the vast promise of Wii U. 